That dude, yeah. am I wrong? Are the Steelers the best team in the AFC? Uh, let me hit really? you with a little dog pound intro. Remember dog pound, Snoop hey, Dogg, little crew? Uh, Welcome. We've been expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling you all year long, and I, I had to just remind you right now, Jason Whitlock, that this is what Mike Tomlin does. He steadies the ship. He steadies the course. This team was a 13-3 team last year, despite having issues in the beginning of the season as well. And they figured that out. This year, they will do the same thing. And I've been telling you that time and time again, that Mike Tomlin's lack of control and lack of discipline in terms of making sure his team stays in one accord is greatly exaggerated. Look what he's been going through in the last year or so. Uh, a quarterback who wanted to retire. Uh, he has a U.S. Army captain on his team who's like, this anthem protest is for y'all, not for me. Uh, a wide receiver who's Facebook live in him and then a wide receiver reckless driving. A running back who's holding out and got suspended last year. By the way, he also had a, a traumatic incident where a linebacker was paralyzed on his team and then had to return back to battle with these same guys, even though they know about their own mortality. All that said, 13-3. All that said, now you just arrived here and going to plant a flag and say it's the best team in the AFC. Yeah, right now, and you disagree. I disagree. You know why? <laughs> There's a Kansas City team that already has beaten them, one. Two, there's a Patriots team out there that's beaten them five in a row. Look at these facts. Three, uh, they play the Chargers going forward, and people are forgetting about the Chargers. Only losses are to the Rams and to the Chiefs. Um, and then you look at all that and put it in totality. It's great that they've arrived in the Tier 1 conversation. Respect to you. Respect to their performance last night. But best team? No, not yet. Yeah, I don't think so either, man. The Steelers are a really good football team, and we knew that. Even with all the all the turmoil that was going on in Pittsburgh, everyone wanted to jump on Mike Tomlin. And I'm like, hey, look, I know this guy. Those guys are going to be okay. Yep. And everyone wants to compare them to New England because New England is, 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 is really the standard. There's no other team who's been as, as dominant for the long term as uh, Pittsburgh, in my opinion, besides New England. And so... Though I think they're right there on the cusp of being in that conversation, I still defer to New England. Until you can go in there and beat them in the playoffs when it's, when it's most needed, because we know Belichick is going to give y'all everything in the playoffs to try to get to that next game. In the regular season, I don't take New England's wins and losses too seriously. The same thing I can say about Pittsburgh. When it's playoff time, they play football, and consistently they've been able to do that over the long term, well, at least since Ben's been there for the, for the past 15 years. The best football team in the AFC, to me, is the Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm. You know, all the weapons they have. Look, when, when, I, even, when they went down to New England and lost that game, the way Mahomes acted to the interceptions, the way they got behind, and he came back and said, hey, look, I got it. Don't worry about it. A young quarterback, they have so many weapons on off, offense. They've got Hill. They've got... Uh, to Kes Kesley, the tight end. Kelsey, Kel Kelsey, Kelsey. The tight, Kelsey, the tight end. You know, they've got Kareem they've Hunt. Got Kareem Hunt. They've got so many weapons. And the, thing is, and the thing is, <laughs> they <laughs> utilize them weapons. It's, it's, it's a difference if you got the weapons and yeah. you don't get a chance to utilize them. Keep talking. Whatever, Whitlock. You forgot who you are. I represent for you. All right, keep talking, damn it. I was wondering where is that? Where did KC at? I need that part out. I need that part out. play defense. Thank you. my problem Thank you. City. He ain't got to play can defense. Outscore. I know that he, he ain't got to play defense. What's no better defense. than a good D? A great <laughs> offense. A great offense. <laughs> and I got that. No, no, listen. Where's my I, case here? Pittsburgh can, go wep Pittsburgh can go weapon for weapon with Kansas City, particularly if Le'Veon Bell comes back. Mm. But even without him, they can go weapon. They got the two, they got the number best wide receiver in Antonio Brown. And Tyreek Hill's nice, but he is not Antonio Brown. Big Ben, look, I love Patrick Mahomes. He's you know, to me, the best quarterback in football right now. But Big Ben has playoff experience. Patrick Mahomes has none. When I go look over at New England and, and when I look at Kansas City, I'm just, it's the defensive personnel. And there is a cliche, they can outlaw defense all they want. Hmm. But if you can sack the quarterback and you can lead the league in sacks, that's what, to me, has been missing the last couple of years from the Pittsburgh Steelers is no pass rush pressure. They had to manufacture it all with exotic blitzes. Now with T.J. Watt, Cameron Hayward, and Bud Dupree, they have guys that can actually just get to the quarterback off of skill. That, to me, separates them. At some point in the postseason, you got to make stops. you got to create third and long. 
Pittsburgh's going to do that better than Kansas City or New England. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Look, when we talk about why is defense still important in a league that seems like it's trying its best to minimize it, undermine it, uh, it's because it's a game of possessions. And if your defense is just allowing a team to get a field goal here and there, while your, te your team on offense is getting those touchdowns in a game of acreage and a game of possessions, that's how you come out with the advantage. I love what I saw last night against Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers, but let's be real. That's not KC. Yeah. Like, don't even get it that twisted. Was, uh, Cam Newton and McCaffrey is not Arrowhead Stadium, KC, where yeah. they'll have home field. And you know how raucous it is yeah. there. The loudest stadium in the NFL. Yes, I heard you Seattle fans. The loudest stadium is in Kansas City. And when they get rocking with that offense that they have, they're going to have that advantage. Can I ask you, didn't you say... Didn't, didn't Kansas City beat Pittsburgh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought they did. In a shootout. <laughs> I just want to make sure. In a sure. shootout. I, but, but, ah, 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 ah. Did they beat them. <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't put beside it a shootout. Yeah, shootout. They put wins yeah. and losses. You know what they say? <laughs> they do say in September. And look, I'm a Kansas City fan. We struggle in January. They have a more experienced quarterback, and they have a coach who has won a Super Bowl. Kansas City does not. No, nah, you're absolutely right. When you talk about going into that place and trying to play, Kansas City is a tough place to play in. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I just go back. Carolina did not look very good yeah. at all. So it's kind of hard to say, Pittsburgh, this is what we're going to get moving forward. They've gotten a lot better on defense, and those pass rushes do <laughs> apply a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. But and, until I consistently see them do this, and do this against a better team than Carolina... Wow, I uh, just—that's a good pivot. Uh, but so you're not—you don't like Carolina? No. Why I mean, not? Car Carolina to me are—they're just one of those teams that they're either they either play great or they play terrible. It's uh -huh. no in between for them. And you got to be consistent in the National Football League to 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 be viewed as a contender. So even though their record says that Carolina belongs in that top top echelon of NFC teams. To me, they're still down here with the, you know, with the Eagles, who's, you know, a four and four team. Washington Redskins coming off of some, you know, some crucial injuries. It's still a lot, of, a lot of spots in the NFC that are up for grabs. And I just, I'm not buying Carolina because but, I, but the two times I've really watched them play, they, they've laid, laid goose eggs both times, yeah. and I haven't been impressed at all the, with them. The Steelers are that same kind of team. They're, they're, they're kind of up and down. I mean, they go and they tie. They're on a run they, they, right now. Right now, yeah. they, they tie. The, the Cleveland Browns. What did Kansas City do to the Cleveland Browns? I beat the brakes yeah. off them. Beat, yeah. They beat them the high first week of the season. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they on a run. But they on a run right now, Eric. I still say the same. I like. Now, I'm a, first of all, I'm a Steeler. If I was a Steeler fan growing up, I, I want them to do good, but stuff for my team. Mm -hmm. But I still think Kansas City. Thing I like about Kansas City, too, you talk about my homes. You know what? With a young quarterback, he's like, hey. This is like college. It's, it's, everything is so good for him. He don't, he's not even afraid. He's not afraid to throw an interception. He's not afraid to have a bad play. Right. I come back and just do it over. When you're a veteran quarterback, you're like, man, I can't put my team in a bad situation. I can't no, do it. No, when you're a veteran quarterback, you have experience overcoming adversity, and you have experience, you know what playoff football looks like. I, I love the Chiefs and Luck, what they're doing. That defense, other than D Ford, is a nightmare. Those inside linebackers are horrendous. And in comparison to Pittsburgh, it's just there's a wide gap. I do, I, Marcellus, I wanted your take on the Carolina Panthers. What should we take away from them after last night? Uh, I mean, I think, uh, I think you're on to something, D'Angelo, when you talk about this team and its highs and its lows. And we really don't see a lot of middle ground from this team. And it's interesting, by coincidence or by correlation, that the mental makeup of their leader, Cam Newton, has always been talked about in those same extremes. If Cam is balling, Cam is all in. If Cam's not balling, look out for him and look out for this team. I do see the same cracks and voids. I can see that it, even though Cam Newton's completing 66% of his passes and looking tremendous this year before last night, MVP campaign, it just doesn't match up in a relative scope to a New Orleans team in the, in the same division in the NFC, uh, to a Kansas City, to a Pittsburgh, when they're firing on all cylinders because they just don't have the same weapons. So I think that Carolina right now is smart to do what they did postgame. Coach Rivera... Cam Newton both said, we got whooped. Uh, we've been there before. Yeah. When Coach said, hey, 
when y'all come here tomorrow, we're going to lift weights. We're going to jog around, get this lactic acid out. And we ain't watching that film. Uh-uh. <laughs> we throwing that away. Hey, no film Monday. That's you know, dope. it's in the yeah. trash can because that was an anom- anomaly for this team. However, they still have an uphill battle in terms of putting up points consistently against other teams in the NFC. I, I, where both of you all are right, and I'm, I'm, I've been watching Cam and Carolina all year, your point about inconsistency shows up within the same game. Yeah. yeah. Because what we saw last night, we've actually seen Carolina play like that for two or three quarters in a game and then snap out of it and win. Mm-hmm. They just couldn't do it against this Pittsburgh team because the pass rush pressure was too relentless. They on the road. I, I, I'm going to write it off a bit about uh, Carolina. Thursday night on the road is yeah. very hard. Difficult. That's why they're mentally writing this off and saying it says nothing about us. It does say a little something. How the team won on the road on a Thursday night game? I mean, it just oh. seems like every single Two time. Two have, but Two? Like they played Arizona and somebody else is uh, not very good. Cleveland, probably. Played, maybe it was the Jets. <laughs> the, Gi- the Giants and Arizona have lost at home on Thursday night. My point. That's it.